what was different between day one and day two? Uh, day two, I felt more confident. And I felt like I knew what I was doing more. It was more of a challenge, but I liked that I rose to the challenge. Um, I learned about hills going up and down that were steeper than day one. There were more of them, there was more endurance, and that really, it was endurance in a different way, so that caused me to have to really focus, really put the skills in place, and then I learned more about the placement of my feet. Um, instead of tiptoeing on the front part of my foot and going up, which I found I I almost like tiptoed or leaned forward on my feet and used my thighs and my whole body was forward which meant I felt my back pack and instead you completely suggested I change it around which was feet centred on the floor so front, middle and back were on the floor and I literally trod up the hill in a slower pace but it meant I was upright so I could breathe, the back pack was in a better position and I was actually able to got heels still breathing without stopping as much. And I certainly did more than I believe I could have done without that press. Is there something in there that you translate to what it is that you do yourself as, as a business visual visual? The physical help with the breathing, so I'm very aware of my breathing, so the physical is a big part of what you So changing, what I found was changing the foot placement elongated my legs, which I've been trying to do for a long time. So as much as that hurt, I could really feel the back of my legs coming back. It, it felt like it, it re-posturised me, if that's a word. It gave me a, a different body placement and I was able to breathe easier as I went uphill because normally I would have rushed up ah, and I didn't feel that pull so it was almost like someone was pulling me ahead and on the second day I lost that rush and on the third day it went completely who was pulling you on the first day? it was obviously me it, it was a habit it wasn't conscious it was a habit of either trying to get something done, trying to get somewhere, which is what all the tiptoeing was about. It was almost just get up and get it done, then it's over. But that doesn't work when we've got to work for like eight hours. So that I had to stop that, and I had to take it seriously, and I had to look at it, which I hadn't been doing on my two-hour walks. Mm -hmm. So how does that translate to what it is that you actually do? because breathing is key. If you're not breathing, you're not present, you're not aware. And a, the posture is a lot of that because um, if you're not aware, you're not aware that your posture has changed. Um, so yeah, that was really interesting to me that it, it, it had a massive change on my performance as well. I could do more because I kept breathing and I wasn't out of breath. That was the thing. I wasn't just getting it over and done with.